Hey everybody, it's time for the obligatory... I don't know if it's actually obligatory. It's time for the episode where I grind out all the casinos, where you go to casinos, you spend a lot of money, you make a lot of money. Okay. So relax, I do whatever the fuck I want. This isn't even a real episode episode. That's a poor time. And because it's not a real episode, and I'm just making this a bonus episode, I am eating a bagel. I'm flying RuneScape. I am probably just doing whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, don't judge me. Listen, I never said I was going to be really focused when I did this. If anything, this means nothing. Really, I'm just recording this because I feel obliged to. Just so you guys know that I did it. That, and it feels weird doing a let's play and not recording everything you fucking do. Come on, dude. Fuck you. Fuck you. So, yeah. I will be eating a bagel, drinking my drink, and playing RuneScape in the background. Among! And maybe watching anime, I don't know. Literally, it's gonna be that kind of episode. Normally, I try to be professional about this shit, you know. Hey, oh, I won't. No. Shut the fuck up. Normally, uh, I'd be like, oh, you know, I won't do these things because I'm, you know, playing the game. Uh, Welcome to Gamora. I'll be focused on commentary and all that. No, that's not the case here. Let's try to count a How many chips would you like? A thousand. Here's your chips. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. Ah. And so it begins. I have nothing to talk about. You kill that rock crab, you whore. Yeah, I'm literally just training ranging on RuneScape. I guess I can talk about RuneScape. Have you guys ever played it? Do you guys still play it? Uh, what do you think about the evolution of Cobbler if you've uh, played it that recently? I don't like it. That's why I'm playing old school. Mm. For anybody out there who ever says I'm not professional, I never claim to be. And I never will claim to be. Why? Honestly, I have no problem with people being professional. That's just not my style. I'd do math. Boo. Boo. I just realized something. I'm a dumb dumb. Oh. I don't know what. Yo! Bagel! <laughs> this is retarded. I realize why I'm having problems. I'm not wearing my naughty nightwear. I hope they get some new shows soon. Yeah.
Yeah. So, for those of you who just don't want to... S Honestly, this is the kind of episode that you just put on in the background and just not care about. I probably what I recommend. Unless you're genuinely interested in me, uh, playing the fucking game. Which is me pressing, uh, two buttons? Maybe three? Before I continue, I'd like to point out that there were two King Spades on the board. The Ace of Spades! Wow, that's fucking awful. I wonder. If you can hear something very faintly in the background, I'm watching anime! Why? Because fuck you, I can't! I'm very unprofessional. Hey, hey, look who has the hot hands. Here, have something special on the house. Uh, I'm not going to excuse myself. I'm winning. Look at all the money I have. Aren't I? Amazing at this game. Oh my, my, my boner. Oh. Ooh. My. Yeah, I was watching anime for a bit and then I realized actually this is not going to work with the way I'm trying to set this up. So I didn't. I gotta say. That one luck makes a huge fucking difference. Um, math. Oh, hello, cat. I'm not letting you inside. My dad'd be angry with me. Look, he, he specifically told me not to let you inside. So, uh... Isn't this riveting? Aren't you all just so excited? Yeah. I'm sorry, what do you want me to do? Like, there's not much I can do. Do you want me to sing for you? What do you want me to do to entertain you? There's like, I'm. Pr this is why I'm not doing this in the main. I'm doing this as a completely separate thing. Because if you guys are bored, <clears throat> so am I, practically. It's not too shocking of a thing, because this is kind of a boring part. It's just kind of pressing buttons and uh, win. Win all the money. Like, it's necessary. It's a necessary part of the game, in my opinion. Because I need money. Because I'm broke, motherfucker. I wish getting money was this easy in real life. Just being born with, like, naturally good luck. That'd be fucking great. So, yeah, I'm... Just playing RuneScape. Even if I was doing stuff on. Even if you could see what I'm doing in RuneScape, it would be boring. I'm killing an enemy just over and over and over again to grind up my stats. Literally everything I'm doing is boring. Even just sitting here talking. If you could see me right now, you'd say, wow, what an awful lazy fuck he is. 
And I could not agree more with you. Yeah, this is normally a much more tactful game in real life. It's like, okay, the uh, dealer has an ace showing, I got an ace. And blah blah blah, it's like, nah. Just, just kind of like, uh, stay. Aw, that was dumb. I did, I did the wrong things. Broke even? Good. I'm glad. I had no arrows left my quiver. If I remember correctly, this is actually the music that play this is the only station that you can get in uh Old World Blues DLC. And it's actually a station that I really like listening to because it's just kind of peaceful and relaxing. Which is stark contrast to the normal gameplay of murder everything. Or at least that's how I play it. That was dumb. <laughs> what did I do double down? I'm just making all of the dumb mistakes. It's three in the morning and I'm not that tired actually. My point being here is that... I don't have a point here. Who's clapping for me? That was dumb of me. Sir, you have 21. Yeah, break. Okay, I got 7. That's fucking 11. Why did I press that button? I, my brain, like, I, I knew, like, I knew physically what but okay, I knew, like, mentally what button I want to press, like, oh, I want to press the B button. But my body was like, nah, you want to press the Y button. What is, oh my god. Uh. I don't even math anymore. I'm not even taking math next year. I'm taking physics. Yeah, I guess that's kind of close. Looks like someone is on a roll. Luck be a lady tonight. Here's a little something from the family. For the family? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad you've given me all these, uh, illegal drugs, sir. How the fucking drugs even be illegal? Well, technically they're illegal. Proud upon, I guess? I don't know. Technically nothing can be that illegal. Because, uh, well, who would really enforce it or not? See, it's uh, 19. It's either 19 or 9. I'm just gonna say it's 19. I don't gamble in real life. Just, just clearly putting that out there. I don't gamble in real life. I have no reason to. Actually, let me rephrase that. I have no way to gamble in real life. I'm a minor. I'm not allowed to drink. I mean, I'm not allowed to do a lot of things. No. Who the fuck is clapping for me? Uh. So. You know, I feel like I should just... I feel like I have the need to talk. But at the same time, this is just kind of relaxing just to sit here and do nothing. So if I don't talk much, I apologize, but I don't care. You keep on spending money in here. You gotta give us a chance really to win something money, back. Sir. Here's something nice for you. 
Yeah, they give you fucking reinforced combat armor. Which is, uh... I would like to point out, worth 5.7k! Who the fuck thought that giving me this is a good idea? Who? Uh, I'm just being nitpicky. Honestly, it's like, thank you for the money, but... Why? Actually, I should probably explain something. Um, all of the casinos give you, um... Have set intervals of what they give you. And they will stop you four times to give you something. Um, usually the first three times it's... Uh, the first three times it's just something like, oh, food. Or, uh drugs, or something like that. The fourth time they stop you, they will give you a room to a suite to stay in. No shit. You can stay at any of the major hotels. Or, pff, casinos. Which is kind of nice, actually. So as such. It's a good reminder of how badly you kick their ass. Yeah, I've just got, like, nothing to say. This is kind of boring. I apologize if you're bored by this, but you don't have to watch this. This is just... Literally, I'm just gonna go around to the casinos and make a lot of money. So, there you go. Okay, that's that. No more... Have some drink. Go rob the tops. Okay. You told me to go rob the tops, so I'm gonna go do that one next. Welcome to Gamora. Well, that and it's the you? easiest one by far. Uh, I'd like to turn on my chips. So I'd like my fan on caps. Nope. Uh, thank you for the money. Technically, this is actually uh, because of the comet armor they give you. This kid, this one is tied for the highest amount you can get. Oh shit! Let's cool scroll. Woohoo! Go to the casino. Spend all the money. You, you, you just keep on checking that ass. Yeah, just like that. I don't even know what spurs are, quite frankly. I didn't even take 20 minutes? What? I'm genuinely impressed. I'm not even mad about that. By the way, good thing about the tops. No longer have to worry about anything. Because you're just going to keep it up in spider. You're basically, you're basically like one of the new owners of the tops. Might as well be. Welcome to the tops. How can I... I'd like to exchange capture trips. Just give me a thousand. Do, 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 do. 
I'm watching anime again. I'm a bad, I'm the worst guy in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anime. For the record, I am watching Kiss Exorcist. Why? Because it abuses me. I could be watching a lot of animes. I could be watching my favorite anime. But I'm not, because I want to watch this one. Why? I don't know. For the record, my favorite anime is Credible No Jikan. Or School Days in English. It is a fantastic little anime. It's my favorite. It's the one that got me into anime. It makes me laugh, and it gets surprisingly dark at times. It is one of... It's a very fucked up anime. For the record. And, uh, I'd recommend it if you like crazy shit. If you like insanity, then watch it. That's... How's that? If you like insanity, watch it. Other than that, yeah. Honestly, I'm not talking much. And the thing is, it's like, again, it just falls into the category of... What do I talk about? What can I possibly say to make this entertaining? Also, what the fuck? I had two ten of spades! Mm. That angers me far more than it should. Why did I do that? I'm making dumb decisions. I'm not paying attention at all. Uh, I honestly forgot what I was ranting about a second ago. Oh yeah, what, what am I supposed to talk about? Yeah, like, really, what am I supposed to talk about? Like, what can I say to make this entertaining? Do you want me to regale you with stories of, of yonder years? Would you like me to regale you with the fictions that I love to read? Would you like me to talk about other games? Would you like me to... I don't know. How lucky can one guy be? That's probably more lucky. Joys of the kissing. Uh, I could talk. I could rant in general if you want me to. Uh, let's see. What is there a rant about? Uh, I could rant about Sunny Cerulean Skies. That shit was awful. It was awful for a lot of reasons. One of the reasons is uh, it feels abrupt. Yeah. In fact, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rant in these bonus videos about s things. I'm gonna rant about stuff I haven't even uploaded yet. Sunny so Cerulean Skies. It was bad because it felt abrupt. Even General Liberator, who was an awesome guy, and I still say you should all go check him out, because he actually writes a lot of really premium stuff. I've, I've only read one of his stories. That one being Trevor in Equestria. Or my uh, Uncle Trevor. But he writes a lot of really good stuff, surprisingly. Yeah, he's an awesome guy. And, uh... He mentioned two stories that I should never read. One of them I read in the past, and I made my good friend Jin Rollins, 2 on 1, aka Gunner. If you're watching this, hi Gunner. Uh, I made him read Chili's Garden. It was well worth it. By well worth it, I mean god damn it, I still had a really hard time finding a Serbian film. But, uh, the thing I have, the thing I have against Sunny Cerulean Skies mainly, is that it felt abrupt. It felt like... Okay. Why is this happening? Why is this brutal? What is the point of this? And it feels like a weird thing to say. 
for those of you who came just purely, purely for me to not rant about stuff, but especially about ponies, because this is something completely separate from ponies that I don't even mention ponies normally. I apologize sincerely, but whatever. <clears throat> the problem I have is that it's like, where is the build-up to this? Like, all that sexy, fun stuff. It was cool. I enjoyed that. That could have been just com like a completely separate story. It could have been a completely different thing. And, like, when I was reading it, I was like, okay, so I guess, like, what's going to happen is, it's like she's going to be introduced to all this stuff that people are into and she's going to, like, get broken by it. No, instead, it's like Twilight decides to flip the fuck out and just torture Rainbow Dash. Why? <laughs> it happened for no reason. One second, it's, yeah, we're all having a fun time. The next second, uh... Oh, it's she's getting tortured. What? Looks like you've hit a lucky streak there. You must be uh, thirsty. That makes no sense. And I know it feels like a weird thing to say, given other fics like Cupcakes or Sweet Apple Massacre or even Trixie's Funhouse. And my, uh, my point to be made there is that, while very, very true, they did lack any, uh, any real premise, this one is more so. Because it started out as something that felt completely different. With a loose tie-in. With something that, like, again, Cupcakes, We Have the or Chicks Funhouse, they had no pretense of what they were going to be. They were just straight up, this is going to be grim dark. this is going to be fucked up, and... That's all. It's, that's all we claim to be. With this, it felt like it was claiming to be something that was originally going to be kind of fun and funny and romantic. No, it's, no, it's not that at all. It's not a slice of life. It's not romantic. It's dark. Totally, but other stuff, not really. And that's my real problem in it. I feel like if the Sunny Screw in the Skies part was its own separate thing... I could totally get behind it. I could totally be like, oh, that's so fucked up, and just, like just kind of like take that at face value. But as it stands right now, I just can't believe it. It's like, where did this come from? It feels unprecedented. It feels like... And the thing is, the reason that it's such a big pet peeve is because it's one of the very first things that you're taught in writing, like, a fucking book report or something. Make sure everything ties in. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, she kind of ties in, but hardly. Uh. Another thing is that it's... Other than that, it's really well written. I love the author of that. The Paris Bride is a funny guy. And Akukama Getsu, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right, is normally a really good author. Albeit a huge, huge fucking troll, apparently. Um, uh, that's what I've been told. I don't know, maybe I'll ask Reginar or something. Hey, is this guy a troll or what? Or does he write trolly stuff? I don't know. But the thing is, the author is normally really good, so the fact that he just decided to make this is just like, the fuck? For the record, I'm just not paying attention to my gambling right now. <laughs> I'm just kind of pushing buttons. And it's just, it's stupid. I didn't like it because of that. But that's just me. And that's my rant on that. And, uh, now to rant on another video that I said I was going to make a rant about just regarding one certain line. And this is for a story I have yet to upload. By this point, I'll be sure to have uploaded it. And if not, um, oops. I fucked up. I done. You done goofed. This is another story. It's all in her jeans. And it was just one line that kind of got to me. And it's just something that's just always kind of annoyed me. Hello? Baby. Lady Luck must be... Yep. Um, it's... It... And it's the, uh, like the idea that... It, oh, it's funny because... Hello? What? What? Hello? Hello? I'm trying to gamble. It's the idea that... Oh! Boys don't ask, normally ask girls out in equestria. That's not a normal thing. 
I don't know why, but the having the preconceived notion of a gender should ha like normally ask the other one out pisses me the fuck off. It's annoying. It's stupid. It's not recommended. Honestly, oh god, why did I do that? <clears throat> Honestly, if you are a male, female, transgender, or whatever, it shouldn't matter. If you like somebody and you know that they, you know, swing the way that you do, because it would be kind of awkward if you were hitting on some guy and then you learned that he's straight, honestly. Like, I never know, uh, I guess, but it'd be pretty fucking awkward. I say go for it. Because honestly, if you are... And this especially goes in our society as a whole to females. I don't know how many females actually watch my videos, though. This especially goes as a whole to females in our kind of society. If you actively want a boyfriend, don't wait for a boy to walk up and ask you out. Just, uh, and this goes for boys too. This is not just advice for girls, but in our society as a whole, it seems that it's the preconceived notion of, oh, the boy asked the girl out. If you are active, if you on an active relationship, go out and seek it. Don't wait by the fucking, uh, don't wait in the fucking, uh, sidelines and wait for somebody to ask you out because it's not smart it's better to just take a risk yeah it gets it sucks getting rejected i know this better than some people do because you know there are people out there who have never been rejected in fact i remember seeing like <clears throat> and this is something i'm gonna go into completely separately i was seeing this advertisement it's like oh rich kid get rejected it's like i don't want to watch that it sounds like awful tv it's a matter of that's fucking life. If you don't know what heartbreak is like, then shut the fuck up, okay? There are people who have had plenty of harder relationships. Yeah, it kind of falls into the idea of, uh, uh, and it falls into the idea of, like, the, yeah, there are those less fortunate of you, and I just want to sit and mope. But don't let it drag on for weeks and weeks. Plenty of people have been there. Anyways, continuing. Um, if you want a relationship, actively seek it. And my friends are perfect examples of this. My friends, and I'm referring to specifically some of the girls, they have actively, you know, sought out. They've active, actively asked people out. And that's fantastic. I applaud them for that. It's really, really difficult asking somebody out. It never gets easier, by the way. <laughs> never gets easier. And rejection hurts like a bitch. It still hurts for me. I've been rejected plenty of times. More than I can count anymore. For the record, I'm a very depressed child. Well, not really. I've been rejected a lot. And you might be saying, well, I don't want to feel the pain of getting rejected. It's a pain that it's better to get over sooner than later. Because later on in life, if you've like never really you know, asked anybody out and you've been rejected, it's like... It's just not good. It's best to just kind of, like, throw yourself out there and put yourself up there. Because you kind of, like, you kind of get numbed. I don't want to say you get numbed to the pain necessarily. But each time it does become easier. The first time I was rejected, I knew I was just kind of, like, down for, like, a month. Now I'm... The West, baby. Yeah, yeah. And now it's just kind of like, eh, okay, I... Like, it sucks a lot, and, you know, I'll probably, you know, be somewhat sad for a couple days. But it's nothing I can't get over now. And the thing is, if you don't actively, you know, try to pursue relationships, and, you know, you just kind of, like... It comes to a point where it's, like, the first relationship you'll get in, you'll be like, this is the one, and then things will be even harder in life. And that's not good. That's not good. Why did I do that? So my point to that, my point to be made here is that if you are just a person who wants a relationship, don't fucking wait for it to be, don't wait for it to be handed out a silver platter. Uh, my recommendation is try. Yeah, it hurts, and you know, go if you really and I, and there's nothing wrong with going to people you trust for support. If you trust your parents, go to them. If you have a sibling that you trust, go to them. If you have a really close friend, go to them. If, I don't know, you have somebody you know on the internet, go to them. It hurt. It helps a lot going to people for this kind of stuff. 
And I don't know, it just always bothers me. Don't, never, basically what I'm trying to get at here, in the man, for the, the motto of this is, don't let society as a whole dictate your decisions. Yes, society is, uh, you know, says things like, oh, it's typically the boy that asks the girl out. Don't let that be the case, that's a stupid case. Or, oh, it's typically the man that makes the money for the house. Don't let that be the case. That's also a stupid case. Basically, just do, just, uh, stand up for yourself. You know, be active. And that's that. That's, that's my rant about that. I don't know. Just hearing that, it bothered the fuck out of me. Yeah, I get it. It's, you know, predominantly female society. And Equestria, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. That thing just bothered me. And now for another rant. The one fucking about the rich kids. First of all, what the actual fuck is that? Why is this a show? Not only... Does it seem like a dumb idea? It seems like something that... It kind of goes back to that problem of fashion models. It sets a standard for children and of how they should be. This is a prime example of that. It's like saying, hey, this is what rich kids are like. Doesn't your life suck now in comparison? It's like, that's fucking stupid. Why would you have a show like this? This feels like it'll just lower self-esteem of children a lot. And then I saw the episode. Oh god, I saw the episode. <laughs> it was about this rich kid, and I have never watched the show, so maybe they are good people. I have no idea if they're good people or not. It was about this fucking person who goes through a breakup after her friends were like, you know, he's not good for you. Life advice here. Typically, if your friends who you have known for a very long time say that maybe... Just maybe that your boyfriend, girlfriend, or respective other is not good for you. Okay, pal. Maybe you, you should listen to them. Now, this is just me, and this is just my opinion, but it just kind of seems like a smart idea. Welcome to the top. Stand and back. then it's about her crying about her breakup. First, first things first about this. Who the fuck would want to watch this shit? Who would take time out of their day when they could be doing something productive like, oh, I don't know, sleeping or reading a book or playing a game? Who, who would find this as entertaining? Who would find some rich kid crying about a breakup, their breakup with this guy who is clearly an asshole? Who would find this entertaining? If I wanted this, I would go and talk with people. I would go and try to help people with their breakups. Because, yeah, getting broken up with sucks. But in this case, it just comes off as dumb. I'm not trying to belittle the actual breakup. Maybe Thank in you. reality, it was actually difficult. But when it comes off as a show, when it's in a show about rich kids in fucking Beverly Hills, you know damn well that I am not going to give two fucks. Because it comes off Humbly as something or somebody I would never care about. It comes up as somebody who feels like 
they have, they seem like the kind of people who would be like, I have so many problems. This is literally the definition of first world fucking problems. Not only are you rich, you're having relationship troubles after your friends have said, you know, maybe he isn't good for you. You should have listened to your friends. It come, it seems so fucking stupid. It's like, you know, I've been, I've been in a breakup or I've been in X or, you know, it's like, you know what? You had a boyfriend and you decided to ignore clear signs that he was probably cheating on you. Because the way they were portraying it, it seemed pretty fucking clear that the signs were there. And re uh, listen, I realize that there are some people who, you know, who legitimately have a problem with this. Like, they feel like they need a, a constant companion to be with them. And I understand that. I, I totally understand that. It's a, it's a legitimate problem. Some of my sister's friends have had this problem, and still do. And it's a real, real big problem, actually. But... Here's the thing. When I saw the guy, and I saw where he was, and I saw the girl, and some of the pictures they took together... I could not care about them any less now. The guy looked like a typical scumbag, first of all. The girl looked like some stuck-up, pretentious bitch. And the friends, they, they were like, you know, maybe, just maybe, there is a problem with the guy. He doesn't hang out with us, and he seems pretty suspicious, and she clearly ignored those signs. Now comes the big question, though. Why the fuck would you put this on TV? It makes me feel shitty about my life, because I'm not rich. I've never been in a relationship with a girl. And it just, like, I've had friends who have had problems br with breakups before, and my heart goes out to them. They were tough, because they were, like, legitimately tough breakups. Not like, oh, one was cheating on the other. No, it was, like, legitimately just not pretty for either of them. My heart goes out to them, because that was fucking difficult. With this, it's like, the guy was cheating on you, and you're crying about it? Fuck that guy. How could you love him? How could you say that you loved him? Seriously, what? Ah, oh, God, it just pisses me off so badly. <laughs> so badly. It makes me so angry. And it's amazing the shit people will put on TV nowadays. It amazes me. I'm not one to judge if you like that. Because, I don't know, maybe one of you guys do. And if you do, all the merrier. You have, you probably have your own reason, and I respect that opinion. But to me, it feels stupid. It feels pointless, stupid, and degrading. It feels degrading both to women and to men. <sighs> hey. Like, and again, this is being marketed to my age. And here's the thing. I always hate it. I always fucking hate it when I hear somebody complain about their relationship. Like, oh, but he's going away for like a week. Or, oh, I... Or like some stupid shit like that. Like, if you're going away for like a long time or like they're moving away, okay, I'm okay with that. Like, oh, I won't get to see him in, a, like, a month. Like, okay, yeah, that's actually kind of, you know, that sucks. That's actually kind of brutal. 
But if it's like, I don't know, it just feels like, uh, this feels not the same anymore. It's like, you shut the fuck up. I, because with a guy like me, it's like, you know what? Uh, be thankful. Be thankful that you were able to find somebody that you can uh, mutually enjoy each other's presence and, and love each other. Because I've yet to experience that with somebody of the opposite gender. So why are you? Why, what gives you the right to complain about something that I have tried to have? It just feels like... Uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, so where the fuck is this guy? It feels... I must say, fortune seems to be with you of late. Please, enjoy... Hmm, what's the good... What's a good word for this? Hmm. It feels like it... It, it just makes them seem like a suck-up privileged asshole. And it bothers me greatly. And it's stupid. I don't like it. Because... I don't know. It, it I feel it's just inconsiderate, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's the best way to put it. I feel it's inconsiderate of others. Because there are people with legitimate relationship problems, like, oh, they're moving away, or oh, you know, we've been going, uh, you know, ever since X happened, you know, things have been kind of weird between us. Like, oh, ever since, you know, old boyfriends started contacting them, it feels kind of weird. But... Sometimes people just complain about the stupidest shit, like, I don't know, I just can't be with her now that I found out that she doesn't like, you know, like, oh, I can't believe she doesn't like sushi, I can't believe that, it's like, I can't be with her, it's like, really? Because of that, because of that one thing she dislikes, you cannot be with her? That's cool. I hope you burn in hell. But, again, because, again, not only are there people who, who strive for relationships and just can't get them, because my heart goes out to those guys, because it's not fucking easy. I'm, I'm in that position, too. It's fucking difficult asking somebody out and being rejected constantly over and over again. Or even just getting up the courage to ask somebody out. Because that's also very, very difficult. And then... I don't know. It's stupid. It's just plump stupid. And again, the fact that somebody made a fucking show about not only just about rich kids who live in fucking Beverly Hills. It's about rich kids and their struggles, it seems. Who made this crap? Who decided that this would be perfectly fine entertainment for my generation? I hate my generation. I I hate myself. No, I hate myself as a human, knowing that somebody made this. It's dumbfounding what people will put on television. And it's just, when I saw that, I'm sorry, but I just, I just wanted to go into my room, just lie down, and just lay there and reconsider what I've done with my life. Because it's dumb. It's dumb, and I don't like it. Anyways. That's been my rant. <laughs> I was ranting for a solid, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> this is the best episode ever. And we're at the Ultralux. This is a fucking fancy-ass place. I mean, look at this. Everybody's wearing suits and masks and shit. Look at this. You certainly seem to be making a splash with all your success in the casino. Our executive chef prepared this delicacy for you himself. Is it human? Enjoy. Oh, Robin Wellington. That sounds delicious. I've never had beef Wellington. I've always wanted to. It sounds delicious. For those of you who don't know, beef Wellington is a... Uh, it's a filet, I believe. Or a filet mignon of uh, beef. Or of beef, traditionally. Sometimes pork, I think. And it's wrapped in like a, a pastry shell. 
Usually with like a some kind of thing of like mushrooms and uh, nuts, I believe. I don't know, something. It sounds delicious. I'd recommend looking it up. It looks quite good to me. Anyways, that's my rant. I I don't know. I just want to get that off my chest, I guess. If you guys feel the same way, let me know, I guess. Because I'm genuinely curious to hear your guys' opinion. I always like uh, hearing your guys' opinions. I always like having you guys comment. I like you guys interacting with me. It, I like knowing that there are people who enjoy this content. I like knowing that there are people who enjoy interacting with me as a person. I'm, I'm glad knowing... That there are people who are entertained by this. It makes me it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm doing something good with my life. Because, you know, normally I could just sit down and just not record. I could just sit down and be playing the game normally. It makes me happy that just knowing that this could bring a smile to somebody's face. Or just kind of uh, entertain somebody, for even for just like a couple minutes. It's just good knowing that. That's the main reason I make these videos. I mean, I never expected... To get 100 subscribers. I never expected that. I expected to maybe get like 20 or something. I'm at 2... I'm like almost at 235, I think. That's fucking crazy. That's... That's fucking huge amount of people. That's as much as like a small... Like a concert could hold, actually. At some of the venues I've been to. That's like, that's like an entire movie theater. That's huge. That's a good chunk of my school. <laughs> That's like half my school, actually. Albeit my school's pretty tiny, it has like 500 students or something. Not even that, maybe. But it's crazy. And again, I like knowing that I'm entertaining you guys. Whether it be with my fan fictions, whether it be with my ranting, or whether it be with my video games, which I started doing recently. And again, I'm always open to hear suggestions of what you guys want me to do. Because I, what, I'm doing these videos not for me, but for you. Well, actually, I I also enjoy doing them because of you, though. So, like, if you guys want more games or more fan fictions, you lazy fucker. For the record, I haven't uploaded fanfiction in a while, because I still need to get a fucking charger for my other computer. Which I have, which I record fanfictions on, so. Or if you want me to branch out into other games, like, not just the two I'm doing, like, oh, I want to see you do, like, I don't know, Pokemon game, or something like that. I could totally be down for that. Or, oh, I want to see you live stream. I could totally, I'm totally down for trying to figure that out or something. I do this for you. This has been a very interesting recording. I never expected to discuss these things. <laughs> uh, anyways. We're just about done. We've made a lot of money. We've made... Over 20,000. And soon to make over 30. Maybe even over 40. But, uh, we still got a bit longer. Hello? Hello? You are quite simply the... Bon vivant sweet. Okay. Damn. <laughs> what? I've gone back to watching anime. I have two jack of spades. What?
This feels really awkward. Really, really awkward. I mean, I was just talking for a good... I don't know how long. And now it's just complete silence. That's how the videos go, though. I don't know how you guys... I don't know what you guys want me to talk about. I apologize if I'm not being entertaining right now. I can't be a okay. I said that I aim to entertain you guys. I can't be entertaining every second of every day, damn it. I can't be entertaining when I'm asleep. Although, well, actually. I can be entertaining in short bursts. Fuck you, I just want to win the money. I apologize, I kind of ran out of things to talk about. On the bright side, we're almost done with this. And this recording's been going on, oh Jesus Christ, this song's been going on for an hour. Okay, um, damn. I've, damn it, why did I do that? I was dumb. I've made good progress from RuneScape. Why did I do that? I'm just prologuing this, and I have nothing to say about this. God, mm, the game hates me. Oh, so yes, I've been playing RuneScape this entire time. I guess I can talk about RuneScape. Uh, I like RuneScape. I like old school RuneScape. I find it very peaceful and relaxing. I used to play it, I originally played it when I was like in fourth grade or something. Since then, I've become a lot better at the game. And I have very fond memories of this game. Very, very fond memories. I have fond memories of doing some of the hardest quests before. I have fond memories of... Getting my first 100k, my first 1 million. And, uh, I know people don't like this game. I know some people don't like this game, and I can completely understand that. It's not a game for everybody. It's a game for only some people. I'm one of those people. I enjoy the game. So I play it. Fills up. Because, I don't know, it, just, it brings back good memories. It's a relaxing thing to do, and just kind of, it, it's just nice. And we're almost done here. I don't know, maybe you guys play. If you guys do play, you guys should totally add me. If you do play, totally tell me, and I will totally add you if you want, because that sounds like fun. Then again, I don't know how many people would have actually watched this the entire way through. This has literally just been me ranting, talking about random shit, and playing Blackjack. This is a good episode. <laughs> this is a damn good episode. And we have 100 chips more. Oh! Nice! And we're good. How do you feel? I'm avoiding the guy who tells me I've been bad. I don't want I don't wanna know. Do I wanna know if this feeling flows both ways? Humbly at your service. I would like to turn in my chips. In what currency would you like your payout? Non-caps currencies will have fractions. I'll take my payout. Caps. caps it is. Will there be anything else? Nope. Thanks for all the money. This simply will not do. This you must leave immediately. Fine. Glad you can make me rich. You're welcome. <laughs> I love that. Fine. Glad you can make me rich. All right. Now we have 46 thousand caps. Did you know this <laughs> I I think that's a good amount of money. 
And I still got this sexy ass sleepway. Yeah. Before I actually end this episode, I. Uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna do something real quick. I am going to spend some of this money. I'm going to go to a place that we haven't discovered yet and uh, do something with this money that I just recently attained. So, honestly, I will probably put that. Hey! I want to go do this if you didn't watch this in the next episode. Right, I remember to do that. Because my memory ain't the best. And I don't know if I'll be recording the next episode right after this one. And now that I'll be recording, uh, I'll be uploading some stuff in between this. So. I don't know when I'm going to upload this, honestly. Dude. Actually, I'm going to play that. I'm going to play that on the radio. Because I like that. Uh, mysterious broadcast. What quest do I have currently? Side notes. New Vegas Medical Clinic. This place is great, you can buy implants here. Implants are essentially the replacements for bobbleheads, and uh, it's great. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. Cool. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. Fallen. You sell plants too? Uh, no. Implants, not plants. They're little machines I can put inside you to make you faster, quicker, or smarter. I recommend the <laughs> I've also got two much more expensive. The other implant? I want to buy an implant. One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more... Uh... I, I want to be smarter. I think you would really benefit from the Logic Coprocessor implant, so I'm going to cut the price to three thousand. Oh, thank you. Have a seat in the auto dock. Only this they cost four thousand. hours. Implants are uh, basically this can raise one of your special sets, or as she said, there are two special ones that you can buy that will give you either better uh, damage resistance, which is really good, or regeneration, which isn't that good honestly, because it only works in sunlight and it's honestly just kind of useless. We now have four intelligence. Yay. Uh, they yeah. usually cost 4,000, but if you uh, have it low enough, it will cost less, I believe. All right. And the amount of implants is equal to the number of the, the endurance you have. So let's say I have, um, I don't know. Let's say I have seven endurance and it, you know, maybe I got a point of that from, uh, you know, maybe I got a point of that from intense training. That's fine. However, if you get the endurance uh, implant, then it will not count. That does not count as a point to, uh... Oh god, that does not count as a point to... Uh, I can implant, implant the hypertrophy accelerator for... Yes. Have... And obviously you cannot boost past that. You're back. Uh, do you sell anything here? Show me what you have to sell. Oh, so I need all those attacks. Meeting people is just generally useful. Thinking things not too useful. Well, I could just sell this to you. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but... You know, gaps. This is actually one of the only things I usually use gaps for in the game. Because, uh... Getting... Opposition is just kind of easy because of some glitches that I can do. And I sometimes do them, depending on how I feel. I don't always do them. If you guys would prefer, I won't do them. But anyways, this has been a very long, very... Okay, not very eventful. Somewhat eventful! <laughs> Somewhat eventful episode of Fallout New Vegas. 
We made a lot of money. We got some implants, or plants as my character was too stupid to say. But now we're a bit smarter. Yay. And, uh, we, I ranted about stuff, which was fun. I enjoyed it. I don't know if you guys enjoyed it, but I enjoyed it. Anyways. Until next time, everybody. I have been Soup. A.K.A. Sean. A.K.A. whatever the fuck you want to call me. Until next time. Toodles. And I promise next time will not be an hour and five minutes long. Holy shit. Unless you want that. In which case, I'll do it.